listen to the adventure on Pumlet on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Pipe Man. Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Destroy Boys, Destroy Boys. on Pipe Man! Nice! Yeah. See, I already got you laughing before the interview even started. Dude, your name is Pipe Man! It yeah, doesn't get better than surfer, that. yeah? What? It's like because you surf? Or I do it? surf. I, that's not the reason, but this is the first time somebody said that. So they call it Pipe Man because you lay that pipe. That's what's always said. hey oh. That's what I was insinuating, it's baby. It's actually because my last name's Piper. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, I thought there, there were three reasons. It was surfing, smashing, or plumbing. I'll there. take all of them. <laughs> I, I'll take them all. So now that we're there and you did that, there's been lots of bands because of that that, like, sing an impromptu song in the interview about oh, no. the Pipe Man. Can you do that? The first boom, thing that comes to mind. It's a pipe on Oh yeah. That was my best shot. I love it. Thanks. It's funny because everybody that sings a song and makes up a song says laying the pipe. <laughs> yeah, because it's time. luck, dude. Oh my god. What did you say? I said I think I said laying the pipe. Yeah, I know. You I did. Know. You did. Uh, god damn it. Oh man. So How's it feel to be at Riot Fest, man? Amazing. It's like such a cool once in a lifetime opportunity, but I hope we get to do more than once. It's so fantastic. Everyone here is so nice. You need to do it every year. I'd like to. I would like to. <laughs> Are there other festivals you have lined up? We just did Four Chord in Pittsburgh, and we're going to play Dia de los Deftones in San Diego with nice. Deftones and Turnstile. Nothing Fest, yeah. that's in Orange County. Yeah, Nothing yeah. Fest at the Garden Grove Amphitheater, Orange County, California. We're playing Zona Music Fest with Bleachers in Portugal, the man who are here today, too. That's in December. So we're kind of just getting into the circuit. It feels fucking awesome. Yeah, I was invited to that one, and I, funny enough, you said surfing. I'll be in Costa Rica surfing. because Oh, I, classic pie man, dude. He's there busy. You there you go. Because I've been on tour since, like, May. Yeah. I've, been, I've had a festival every weekend since May. No wow. fucking way. Yeah. How do you do that? You know, my daughter asked the same thing. I'll bring her to a festival about halfway through the first day. She's like, Dad, I don't know how you do this every <laughs> weekend. I'm yeah. done already. Dude, I can barely hang at festies, dude. I get so tired. The sun's beating down on you. You get a little drink going on, but then you're like, oh, man, I'm too drunk now. It's crazy. Yeah, it's the so drinking and the heat doesn't <laughs> combine yeah, too well. Yeah, don't mix very well. So, <laughs> Hellfest. We were burning in hell. It was 105 degrees at hell. F word that, no, dude. No, thank you, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, SPF 2000, my ass, and fucking give me a gallon <laughs> of water. That's too nuts. No doubt. <laughs> and then I live in Florida, and I just did Bloodstock, and they had the heat wave in the UK. Good Lord. And I was like, please, let me just go home to Florida to cool down. <laughs> the water, Can you imagine? I know, right? Yeah. Who, who cools down in Florida? We have two seasons, hot and hotter. God. <laughs> and now I'm here. Yeah. Okay, there's one thing that we wait for in Florida as a surfer. Yeah. Hurricanes. Because that's the only time there's yeah. good waves. Dude, that sounds fucking sketchy, man. So, like, of course I'm here, and I'm like, fuck, there's a hurricane heading towards Florida, and it's okay. the only chance I get to catch waves, and I'm here. But... I got to catch you guys, so that's better. Thank you. We're lucky to catch you, Pipe Man. Yeah, I'm surfing. Rock. A I'm sonic wave. <laughs> that's right. I'm surfing the Riot Fest yeah, with, with you guys. Yeah, Cheers, brother. So tell our listeners what you guys sound like. Like, forget genre bullshit. 
Describe as an artist what you guys are. Genre's becoming obsolete, so it's I'm glad that you stupid. said that. Yeah, it is stupid. I think I, we're just like a guitar music band, you know? I we've I done. I like how you describe yeah. that. Thank you. We're just a guitar band, dude. Like, we, we come from punk. We were punk, but now we're just, like, doing all kinds of different influences across rock, so. You know what's guitar. cool about that? Okay, so I'm an old school punk and metalhead. We were just talking about this before. No, you? Little. <laughs> But I couldn't go to punk shows when I was a teenager because I was a long hair and we weren't allowed in yeah. punk oh, shows. Oh, so was my dad. Yeah. 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 Did you so, ever fight with mods? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and now one of my best friends from high school, he's he's been a mod forever now. And, like, I just was in a discharge pit at Hellfest <laughs> first time in my life because I couldn't go to discharge when I was younger, that's you know? Nuts. That's so nuts. I love to hear stuff like that that you actually, like, evolved. Cause Thank you, you. You think about it, okay. If you're a punk band, like the punk's cool, but as you start to grow as a musician, you kind of want to like expand a little bit. Yeah, we're just getting older, you know. I mean, we started at this band when we were 15 years old. Right. Me and the singer Alexia, who's over there doing something else. You know, I what? What's is, she, is she posing for pictures? Because I watched her; she was pretty like funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? What? Putting her butt out and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you gonna say? I just, I think, I think, man, that anybody that li anybody that says they listen to just one kind of music is lying. Oh, you know what I no mean? Doubt. It's just like you're kidding yourself if you think you're gonna dislike every other fucking kind of music. So it's just like you gotta like. It's like food, man. So it's like you fucking, like when you're a kid, you don't like broccoli. Now I can fucking, I'm older, I want to eat broccoli all the time. It's great. You know what I mean? You develop this palate for all kinds of music, and then you fucking start making recipes. That's your sounds. You know what I mean? I your, love Your band you is like this fucking, like this song is like a beautiful fucking pasta. You have all kinds of ingredients in there, and you're just mixing it up. You know what I mean? And then it's going to taste way better than just a fucking chicken nugget. You that know sounds I mean? like a song, man. What Yo, a this is the first time David has ever done press with us, and now he's just reciting like hymns. I know, right? Like, what I, is that? Like a recipe? Like you are fucking lying, dude. You're killing it. Oh, um, he is killing yeah, it. We like, you know, we just get older. We listen to more things. Yeah, I can't put it better than that. Why am I even trying? I think it's that you admit to listening to more things yeah. because it's funny. Like I was interviewing Josie Cotton a little while ago, and I said during an interview, I'm like, "Well, I'm gonna tell you something I couldn't admit back in the '80s, but I actually liked you back then, but I wasn't allowed to admit it." Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. it's just stupid. Like, yeah, how can I like pizza. Am I going to eat pizza every fucking day? No, <laughs> the internet makes everything very accessible, so young kids are discovering everything. You know, mm -hmm. like, Deftones is having a new wave right now when they were, like, you know, super shit on back in the 90s. Like, people are, kids are really into them. Like, people are discovering all sorts of 70s stuff, old hip-hop. Like, it's cool. So how everything's about, available. How about Metallica get, getting all this press from Stranger yeah, Things? Yeah, people were talking what? shit. Like, yeah, well, they were, Master of Puppets that. wasn't Stranger Things. No shit. Yeah. yeah. So here's what happened. It was them and, and Kate Bush. She got, like, yeah, I didn't Bush even know anybody yeah. would know Kate Bush today. Yeah. But Stranger Things, all of a sudden, she's the biggest thing. But what happened was is that it went both ways. First, yeah. everybody's loving Metallica. It's the best thing ever. And now there's some chick on TikTok that's talking shit trying to cancel Metallica because Metallica. of whatever they did in Shocker. the 80s. No yeah, way. You know, it's like, like fucking old Christians now. I know, I know right? <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Yeah. Everybody was a fucking piece of shit in the 80s, I feel like. You know, that's <laughs> fucked up. But, yeah. Total, you know. <laughs> totally. Like, come on. Like, yeah. if you were in the Sunset Strip in the 80s and you remember it, you weren't there. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they went after themselves hard enough in some kind of monster. I don't think anyone else needs to talk shit about them for the rest of their career. Not at all. Yeah. And nobody needs to talk shit about you guys because you're badass. Thank you. Like, not only badass musicians, but badass interview because, Aww. like. Oh Yeah, I mean, God, man, I mean, the recipes. He, he's given me recipes for music <laughs> and everything. That he's like the, the punk chef. Yeah. <laughs> I do resemble Matty Matheson a little bit, huh? That's true. A big statue. Yeah. Place. Oh, yeah. So let's real quick tell everybody how they can reach out to you on socials, the web, and most importantly, buy your merch because that's the only way bands survive nowadays. Thank you, Pipe Man. We are Destroy Boys Band on pretty much everything. You can get our merch on Hopeless Records' website, but I think we're going to put up a new shop soon. But the best way to do it is just come to a show, dude. Just come see us. I promise you'll have a little bit of fun. I know they will. <laughs> you guys rock. Thanks for being here at Riot Fest, and thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you, Pipe Man. <laughs>
Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.